we're going to draw a dragonfly. The first thing we're going to do is draw a circle for his head. It's kind of a, an ovally circle, so if it's not exactly a perfect circle, that's okay. And we're going to draw it at the top of our paper right here, so we have plenty of room to draw his body and his wings. So the next thing we're going to do is draw an oval for his body. It's going to touch his head. It touches right here. And then we make this nice oval. And then we're going to make one long skinny oval for the rest of his body. So it's going to come and it's going to squish in a little bit and then come back out. And it's a nice long skinny one. So you can see how it goes in just a little in the middle. It squishes in a little. So it's not a perfect oval, but it's kind of a long, skinny oval. And next, we know that insects have six legs. So we're going to draw six legs on our dragonfly. So we're going to draw one kind of thick line like this on each side. They're pointing kind of forward. See one there and one there. And then we're going to draw another set. One and two. And we're going to draw one more. One and two. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. But their legs are actually longer than that, so we are going to add another part onto their legs. They have a part that comes forward on each one, so it's going to angle a little bit in like that. Angle a little bit. They can cross over each other if they need to. Angle in like that. Almost like you're drawing a spider's leg. So we've got an angle in on each one. And then we're going to draw like a little, kind of like a little foot. It's a little curved line on the end of each one. A little curved line on the end of each one of those. A little curved line, just like that. And then we're going to draw his wings. So his wings are pretty long, so we're going to start right in the middle of this um, part of his body right here, in the middle of this oval. We're going to draw, we can start with just a little dot in the middle. Just draw a little dot so you know where to start. And you're going to draw a line that goes out from there almost to the edge of your paper but not quite. And then it's going to curve down and it's just going to be like skinny oval all the way to the end. It's not really an oval shape but it curves down like you're making an oval but instead it comes to a point in the middle. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to draw a line that goes out almost to the edge of your paper, but not quite. And then we're going to draw a line that curves down and goes to touch back where it started. And dragonflies actually have four wings, so we're going to do another one. An angled line that comes down like this. It can start almost at that same spot, so it's going to angle down like this. And this one's a little bit wider than the last one, so it's going to come down and angle back up like that. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. It's going to angle over like this. And it's going to curve down and back up. So that our dragonfly has four wings. And the dragonfly wings actually have some really cool lines on them. So you can add lines to your wings, but whatever you do on one side, you should do to the other side because their wings are symmetrical. So we're going to draw some designs in there, make them look really cool. You can add whatever designs you want on them. They have some nice, really thin lines that they have on their wings. I'm going to draw some different lines going on them. Lines like this. Whatever I do to one, I do to the other side. And you can keep adding lines to those wings however you want them to look. Whatever you want those lines to look like. And they actually have a design on their back too, so you can actually add 
kind of like a stripe down their back. Goes all the way like that. Nice skinny little stripe. And then they have these black lines that kind of go sideways across them, like that. So you can add some of those lines too. So you have a beautiful dragonfly. And then you can add some eyes on your dragonfly, some nice big circle eyes on your dragonfly right up here, just like that. They don't have eyes like we have eyes. Their eyes are a little different. So they're gonna be kind of big circles like that. And then you can color in your dragonfly, add any more details you want to the wings or any other parts. Because they, they have lots of little details on them, so you can add lots of different things to make your dragonfly. Great job drawing today.